offer on the radar when we ask an investing professional what they're looking at in today's markets. We're back again with John Goldsmith. He's at Montrusco Bolton to talk about uh, Macklin's comments, the slowing Canadian economy. We're now uh, six minutes away from new gross domestic product numbers. Those numbers are expected to show a slowing pace of annual growth in the Canadian economy to sub 1%. Uh, uh, your take on the uh, state of the Canadian economy, and in particular, is it headed for a recession? Um, so I, um, I'm very surprised, especially at the beginning of the year. I think the expectations, consensus expectations, were that the we would probably be in a recession at this point in time, starting Q4, especially where interest rates have gone. So interest rates have gone further than people have expected since the beginning of the year, and they're likely to pause. We were expecting a pivot. That hasn't really happened. So I'd say, given where we are with interest rates, the economy has certainly been a lot stronger than uh, we've expected. Now, Governor Macklem's also expected that we would be in a slower period. Um, but a slower period, if you have, you know, positive half a percent GDP growth or negative half a percent, I mean, those are pretty small numbers around a band of zero. Um, but that technically, if it was negative, would mean that we're in a recession, albeit very moderate. Um, I think the economy is uh, doing extremely well, um, much better than people's expectations, unless we get a really surprising negative read in a couple of minutes. But uh, unemployment rates are extremely low. Um, and uh, economy, personal wages, what have you, are still running at a pretty solid clip. So I think, you know, to echo what his statements were uh, yesterday, um, it it's makes dealing with inflation more complicated unless inflation comes down by itself. And when I'm talking about inflation, I'm talking about core inflation, excluding food and gas prices. Okay, I wanted to get your reaction to some interesting comments he made about government spending. And it wasn't just federal government spending. He made it clear he was also speaking about the provinces. He says it will definitely make it more difficult to get inflation down if all that spending is spent. He meant, in other words, if governments follow through on their spending promises. He also said more focus by government on the inflationary consequences of their spending decisions would be helpful. Your reaction? Sure. So um, we saw south of the border with regards to the you know, Inflation Reduction Act. Um, Canada has similar type of... Anything dealing with energy transition, anything dealing with infrastructure at the margin takes a tight labor pool and makes it tighter. So one of the big issues with inflation is that labor wage spiral, that as long as that is highly bid, i.e. the prices keep on moving up, it's tough to get core inflation down. Two of the key elements behind the core inflation number is wages, the second one being rent. Well, if you don't have a supply of excess housing, it's very hard to get the prices of those houses down. And obviously that impacts pricing of uh, uh, rentals um, in, a, in a negative way, i.e. increases the prices, which once again works against inflation. So um, I think once again, getting back to uh, the, the topic of the debt, Canadian and U.S. debt to GDP today are over 100% versus 20 years ago when they were probably in the mid 70s. That continues to increase. And as long as that continues to increase, the math works out like this. In the US, for example, 1% increase in interest rates adds $320 billion to the deficit. So um, they need to kind of rein in that spending. Otherwise, they're going to have a hard time playing that, um, or at least balancing budget deficits going forward. 